Alright, so mukhang talagang aabangan na lang sa What's Wrong, ang Liwanag Family. Thank you so much! Okay, maraming salamat sa segment na yun. <laughs> Sobrang enjoy no? no? Thank you guys. Ngayon, mapunta tayo sa ating next question from Elisha Blando of Star Cinema Digital. This is for Kim Pao. Kim and Paolo. Kim Pao's fan base is growing bigger and bigger. Since nagawa na kayo by now ng dalawang series, may maaabangan kaya ang fans sa big screen naman. And what role or concept would you like to do as a pair for a film project? Mm, as of now, wala pa, wala pa. But um, if ever there's gonna be an opportunity to uh, do a movie with Kim, of course, uh, I'll be happy to do it. And I'll be happy to collaborate or maybe even co-produce it. Ganun ka ka game kahit producer, pwede. Okay. Mayaman po talaga. <laughs> <laughs> ano, um, wala pa naman sa ngayon, pero... Oh, pwede naman, pwede naman. As long as maganda yung kwento and then... Ano, pwede naman. Pero sa ngayon, wala muna. Ito muna ang What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. Mabusog muna sila dito sa aming dalawa. But yung second part po ng kanyang question, if ever lang, what the role or concept would you like to do together? If ever. Um, concept? Siguro, ano, more on magkapatid. Hala! <laughs> 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 Gulatin niyo lahat, no? Oo, siguro surprise kayo. na lang. Eh, kahit anong concept naman, magagawa naman yan ng paraan. <laughs> Natawa siya sa joke niya. Uy, tawanan niyo naman. Kasi sometimes na siya mag-joke. Aray, sakit ng tiyan ko, nakakatawa. <laughs> Nakikita na namin yung dynamics, yung onset, and of course, dun sa series. Thank you so much. Pero note lang natin, ang, ang nagtanong dun, from Star Cinema, ha? Star Cinema Digital, so... Malay naman natin. And we have another one. Again, from Elisha Blando of Star Cinema Digital. Again, this is for you, Kim and Paolo. There are many celebrities who fall in love for real when they get the chance to work with each other. Relating it to the series, what is your opinion on office or work romance? Uh, for me, it's always better to be professional. I mean, I know in some in some cases, na talaga, or you can't help but to fall in love with someone, and you're at your in or at your workplace. But um, sometimes it's uh, uh, maybe just choose an appropriate uh, setting or area. But um, for me, because I, I I always want to be professional when I'm on the set and when I'm working. But yeah, what it's true that what they said na may nakakain love and talaga um, and it, it can't be helped, especially if you work like eight hours a day with the same person every day and uh, it, it could happen. Yeah. Thank you, Paolo. Kim. Hey. Ganda naman ng soundtrack. Bak ganon? Cupcake ko. <laughs> Nag-walk out si Angeline. <laughs> um, ano, siguro naman, um, mas, mas, mas importante, hindi ba siguro may iwasan yung ganun? Kasi lalo na't na nagkakakilanlan kayo ng, ng ilang oras sa isang araw na siya lang yung kausap mo. Pero mas importante siguro na mas maging maayos yung trabaho mo kaysa yung personal mong buhay yung atupagin mo. Siguro magsasuffer yung work Katulad namin, or sa office, hindi ka makapag-concentrate sa office kapag inuna mo to kaysa dito. So, parang mas priority pa rin syempre kung ano yung pinasok mo doon sa trabaho. Bago yung bonus na lang kung may added feelings, pero mas importante pa rin talaga kung ano yung dahilan ng pagpasok mo doon sa trabaho. Like office or like workplace with anything, yun. Mas malalaman mo pag hindi na kayo magkasama. Doon na natin ma ma gauge siguro. 
Parang may gustong idagdag as, si Pao. If we're speaking uh, as our characters, it's a different thing. <laughs> Medyo ibang level si BMC and si, si BMC actually. Kay dito. Secretary Kim, yeah. ibang level. So, sana na- ma- abangan rin ng mga viewers natin. Tsaka mapapaisip ka, may mayroon ba talagang lalaki na katulad ni BMC na ganun siya sa secretary niya? So parang it's very romantic na type of boss. Yan. Ooh, okay, thank you so much. Now, let's go to our next question. This is for you, Kim Chu. Ito ay galing kay Jay of Certified Kapamilya. We all know na this type of character is your bread and butter. But how is this character similar to you in real life and how is she different? Um, sa totoo lang, uh, sobrang ninenervyos ako dahil parang ang, ang taas ng expectations sa akin ng mga tao when it comes to romcom. Pero to be honest, starting when I when we started taping this ano, what's wrong with Secretary Kim? Hindi talaga ako 100% fully happy or fully myself. Kaya thankful ako kay Direct Chad dahil tinulungan niya ako, sila Paolo and everyone else to be myself. So, I tried and Okay naman siguro. Okay naman kaya parang sabi ko direct tulungan mo ko or pa tulungan mo ko ganyan. Kasi hindi talaga siya madali when we started doing this project. Pero sa awa ng Dios, ayan na siya. <laughs> so ayan na siya, ito na kami and we I I tried ano na maging extra extra. So Madali man siya para sa akin dati, pero ngayon medyo mahirap siya ng konti. But I tried my best and sa tulong ng lahat, everyone else, okay naman. Oh, so hindi totoo yung iniisip ng lahat na porket ang dami mo ng romcom na ginawa, eh madali na lang to para sa iyo. Oh, pag isang beses mo ka siya ginawa and and maraming marami ng kwento, hindi mo na ma, mapaghiwa-hiwalay, baka magiging pare-parehos. Oh. So, buti na lang with the guidance ni Direk Chad, eh, nababawasan niya yung Kim Chu to Secretary Kim. Oh. So, nahihiwalay naman. So, yun. Yes. Excited. Excited na mapanood to ng mga tao. And yung second part naman ng question niya na gaano raw ka-similar and ka-different si Kim Chu kay Secretary Kim? Um, gaano ka similar? Siguro mahal niya yung family niya and priority niya lagi yung pamilya niya more than sa sarili niya. And yun, yun. And goal-oriented din siya when it comes to ganong ganon. So parang siguro dun, dun ko na lang kinuha yung core ng pagiging secretary Kim and Kim at the same time. Ay yung difference niyo naman daw. Difference namin, in love siya. <laughs> Love si Secretary Kim. Si Kim, steady lang. <laughs> steady lang. <laughs> steady lang. Okay, thank you so much. Napaka-honest na mga answers nila today. <laughs> okay, ngayon naman pupunta tayo sa ating next question. This one is for Paolo. This is from Jay Ulet from Certified Kapamilya. Sa original story, may pagka-narcissistic si Vice Chairman. Pero kung ikaw ang tatanungin, without spoiling anything, ano-anong traits ang nagustuhan mo kay Vice Chairman? At gaano siya ka Paolo? Actually, it's very different from me and my... Uh, me as a person. Um... Because first of all, wala akong idea sa corporate office setting. Second is, um, hindi ako ganun ka narcissist like BMC. Um, but uh, the nice thing about the creatives and uh, direct chat, they tried to ground it and make it, sus- make, it, make it as realistic as possible. Yung character ni BMC. So yung narcissism niya, uh, um, medyo over the top pa rin, pero hindi naman sobrang over the top like uh, like the original. They tried to ground, uh, it was grounded even more para mas makarelate rin and hindi umuoy sa panlasa nating mga Pinoy. So, saktong GGSS lang si Vice Chairman. GGSS pa rin, pero hindi naman sobra-sobra. Yes, yeah, so Again, Filipino culture. GGSS, guwapong-guwapo sa sarili si Vice Chairman. Alright, thank you so much, Paolo. 
And now we're down to our last question. And of course, this is for Kim Pao. This is from G. Trilliana of Malaya. Kim and Paolo, the show is about a brash bachelor and a super secretary. If you were to use the title, but with a twist, can you answer, what's right with Kim? What's right with Paolo? What is right about your tandem? Thank you. So, bilang kayo to, ah, Kim as in, what's right with Kim Chu? Tsaka, what's right with Paolo Avellino? And what's right with Kim Pao? My twist. Thank you for that beautiful question. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if we're gonna put it in our real lives, I think um, what I would say is... Um, what if gawin natin, ikaw yung mag-answer ng what's right with Kim, tapos si Kim yung mag-answer ng what's right with Paolo, tapos kayong dalawa yung mag-answer ng what's right with your tandem, with King Pao. Um, what's right with Kim right now? Um, I think everything's going well with her. Like, everything, uh, her career, siguro sa isang aspeto lang yung hindi, pero, um, pero lahat naman ng bagay is going well for her and I think she knows that and I think she has to, she just has to be more positive about it. But everything, I, I don't see anything wrong with, with Kim. What's right with Kim? Everything. Everything. Tanay. She's beautiful. She has a wonderful a, and a beautiful career as well. Uh, and <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Would you like to add anything, Paolo? Okay na yun. Yes, everything. Okay. Napakamot si Kim Chu doon sa everything. <laughs> Ikaw naman, Kim. What's right with Paolo? What's right with Paolo is he's Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Parang dito sa palabas na to, lagi niya sinasabi perfect. So, he is, he's, what's right with Paolo? Everything's going well din sa kanya. Ang dami niyang everything na nasa kamay niya. He's very professional. He's very funny now. Now! <laughs> um, what's right about Paolo is he's he's being himself and that's what makes him right. Oh, yeah. ganda. And the, yes. Yes. the last part of the question, what's right with your tandem? What's right with Kim Pao? Ang hirap, no? Ang insinang tanong, pero parang ang hirap. What's right with Kim Pao is we have a show on March 18. What's wrong with Secretary Kim? Maraming aabangan. And in a few weeks' time na yan sa VIEW. And it's a big project from VIEW and Dreamscape. And it's a Philippine adaptation of a very big hit sa South Korea. So we are very blessed. That's why we're right as Kim Pao. And I think it's. I think that question is better better asked sa sa X or sa Facebook or sa socials ng mga uh, Kim Pao's more than us because I don't. I don't really think we have a definite answer for that. But if we ask the people um, that question, I think they would they would know why it clicked or how, or why they're shipping the tandem. Thank you so much.